that um, so I forgot uh, what about what about it but one of my teachers said that uh, one of in one of her book uh, I don't know either her character or her is so mean you know like uh, does your dude mean and you know so bitchy and that kind of yeah. up and so we need to practice to calm my character so I thought Virginia Woolf is a yeah. character but I'm just not she's a writer yeah I just realized now that she's a writer I thought yeah. she's a character No, no, because I thought um, you'll be here a bit, a little bit later. Mm -hmm. So I thought, oh, I'll read this, start reading this oh, book to wait while well, wait for you. Well, yeah. So did, did you read a lot or? Uh, I only read two kind of book. First, um, textbook. It sounds boring, but. It contains a lot of knowledge, yeah. and the second one is a play. So I don't know it like novel, but I just read a play. Um, I was like uh, when I was in Indonesia, I read a novel, but yeah, but I don't really much. I don't read much nowadays. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I just. I like to uh, read, you know, something like knowledge or information or something like that. Because even though the good is good, but it's just easy for me to fall asleep. Especially if you, uh, if I read the book or the novel in English, and uh, because you know I have to translate it twice in my mind. Yeah, uh, it's so tiring. Tiring, <laughs> it is. Yeah. Apparently, that takes a long time to. When you learn a second or third language, when you're reading something, that yeah, that, that takes a long time to. Yeah. yeah it's my um, my friend. <coughs> he um, his parents are French, but he grew up here in Australia. So English is his first language, but he could speak French with his at home. But said, he, but he said when he moved to France in, when he was really young, uh, in his early twenties, he, he had to he, he which he, he could speak, but because French wasn't his first language, his mm. natural language, it took him a while to to think in French and to mm, to yeah. relay everything in French and yeah. And because his parents speak in France. Yeah, yeah. He said at at home. He spoke French with his parents and his family, and he had some French friends. Mm. But because he lived here in Australia, English is the uh, dominating language. So his natural first language is English. So he said he took when he moved to France, though. He said that he had that same problem when he was reading something. Yeah. He had to go, "How? Wh what does it mean in English and stuff?" And yeah, uh, he, he understood it. Like he could read French, but. But he had to stop and think about it first, and yeah. yeah same with my cousin. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. She grew up here, but her parents always speak in Indonesia. Yeah. So she can understand, she can speak, but yeah. yeah. It's her uh, second language, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because he said, because he, he never spoke enough French here in Australia. Like he couldn't, he didn't speak it all the time. Yeah. So he went to school English, he went to work English, when he saw his friends English, when he was outside doing things English and yeah. But 